Hey everybody, Shaman32 here. Welcome to the channel. We're here today to react to the eighth episode of season four of Blake Seven. This one is entitled Games. Oh, we've got so few episodes left now. I've got to start thinking. I want to try and get ahead of things of what we're gonna do afterwards. Um, I might like start like try and decide what the like the selection are and then put up a poll or a video or something saying what would you like soon because I want to be able to say in the last video, or the last episode of this, this is what we're doing next, to let you guys know. And also, pro I probably haven't 100% decided when, the week after we finish Blake 7, I'll probably take a week off, because I want to try and get ahead on things again. Preferably with the new show, I'll get try to get a few weeks ahead on recording at least, and then at least a week ahead on editing, so that I can start putting up like, things a week earlier on the membership tab or like full length and stuff like that just and also i'm very busy i've got a lot of stuff on the channel at the moment for me anyway so it's like i want to try and like display a bit or just like uh, a bit but we've still got a few weeks left so just, just got to start thinking of what we're going to do after this which is crazy we got Episode 9, 10, 11, 12, and 13. We've got five episodes left after this. Yeah, I had to double check. It's like going, I don't want to make, I don't want to say the wrong thing. I don't know. Which is crazy. It's mad. We've got so many different things we could do after this, but it doesn't feel real that we're almost at the end of the, or I'm almost at the end of this. Because it, it, it doesn't feel that long ago to me that I started it. And now we're all, like getting towards the end of se season four, the final season. And oh boy, am I going to be listening to some audiobooks of this, especially with the actual cast, because I, I don't want to say goodbye to them, you know. Like I know there's some like post season four Avon books that um Paul Darry did, and there's other ones like I've listened to one already that um bridged the gap between season three and season. Three and season, no, season two and three. Yeah, season two and three. I forgot about when Blake left. Blake and Jenna left. It's last season. I'm literally all over the place. I'm losing track of who was where. But it's just weird to have to think about like how long ago because my memory's terrible. But it's just it just feels weird thinking about this. So that's why my head's all over the place with it. Like I don't want it to end. But I know it's obviously it did end. But luckily we got audio books, there's books set within the world. I definitely want to listen to ones with the cast first, absolutely. Especially Avon, obviously. And um, a little bit of Villa would, wouldn't go amiss, because I know Michael Keating's done some. But I'm so excited to get into this. That light, I've changed where my light is there and it's so bright in my eyes. So you never know, partway through this I might go, I can't take this anymore and the light might change. But see, damn it, I thought I had it good. Ah, oh, it's that light now getting in my glass. I cannot win. That one is so bright. <laughs> I need to change. I need to get a taller stand for it or something. I don't know. Anyway, I'm talking bollocks now. Um, last week's episode wasn't the best, but it was all right. It was not the worst of the season, absolutely. And we had, I've forgotten the actor's name, but the guy that played the first Doctor in The Five Doctors. I, I was actually quite pleased. I recognised him. Like, I have, obviously I haven't got to that episode yet with Classic Doctor Who. I'm way, way off, probably a few years off. But I recognise them and I feel quite good about myself for that. And um, I had a suspicions about the woman all the way through, but I didn't think she was actually... Or at least until partway through, I didn't think she was going to be the person. I thought maybe she's working with um, Servlan, sorry, Slear, as she's being called. I remembered that, I'm quite pleased. But um, I thought maybe she's working with Slayer or working with the old man or the guy. But, I did, but then I was like, it did keep me guessing. And I like that I wasn't 100% sure on any of my theories. Again, it wasn't the best. Some of the acting was a bit over the top, like especially the woman. But her big scream she did when she got the spider thingy on her was really good. Because it's not like the high pitch, like dramatic female, like, ah! like, you know, like the big screams that you see in movies and stuff like that. It actually felt a bit guttural, a bit realistic. 
more realistic than just the high pitched scream. It wasn't made to sound feminine. I liked that. But she seemed to be better when once she was like revealed and that, because otherwise she was just getting a bit annoying, which is what I think made me second guess. And I'm glad um, Aaron was just an idiot. <laughs> That made me feel like, okay, I'm glad I don't 100% like Taryn yet. And then Avon, obviously, I'm so glad he um seemed a bit suspicious of her the whole time. Su Lin, I love Su Lin. She's really just feels right at home with the team. And I'm glad she was second guessing everything. Or she didn't trust her and stuff like that. Or she knew something was up. It was a bit weird. I didn't like, one, why the hell would she sit on the ground? Like, just lean against the side and be like, if you're thinking like lean against those boxes because she sat down again on the floor against those boxes if the killer had come in and gone to attack her she'd be at a disadvantage sitting on the floor i didn't think that like you don't need to sit on the floor to think you don't and i didn't like how she went got it it's like it didn't feel like oh my god that's what it was it was like yes like she thought of the like an equation or something like that not like that was what was really going on. It just, it didn't go with what she was thinking about to me. So it just felt really weird. Some of the bits were like, eh. but the idea of the story was good. I liked the, the bit on the planet was all right. And stuff like that. Was not as much Villa? Because Villa was on um, the ship, wasn't they? I can't remember. There's so many, I'm just trying to think of like some things and what I want to think about it. But, um, yeah, I just, it wasn't the best, but it definitely wasn't the worst this season. It definitely was not the worst. There's been worse ones. And again, each of the episodes this season, even when they've been like, oh my God, there's been potential. It's just the execution was off. Like, I like the story idea. It's just the episode itself is a bit like, eh. But I'm interested to see what we've got going here. Because we've seen Servalan. Um... I like the fact that she hasn't been every single episode so far this season because it can get like obviously she's the she was the leader of the federation she's technically controlling them now but she's not serverland she's slayer and she's being told where to go even though she's really coercing everybody and doing it herself but it, um I like how she's not there all the time because it it really did was like like she's not one of the main group we don't need to have her every single episode. Or at least that's my opinion anyway. But I'm interested to see where we're going to get going with this next episode. See how it progresses. See what happens. If you enjoyed this reaction, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Give the notification bell a tick. You'll know when the next episode goes live. Let's get going with the reaction in three, two, one. Let's go. I've already adjusted where the light is. <laughs> Literally before I started doing this, I was like, I can. Because before... Because I got the sand panels on the wall at the moment now, thankfully, finally. I had it facing the wall. And for some reason, I was getting glare off the wall in my glasses. I faced it to the wall to try and stop that. But um, it just obviously wasn't doing it. So I literally had it straight at my eyes and I'm not so used to that. So I've got it kind of like going across. So it's still lighting me up. It's just not directly in my eyes. Because that was just too much. Oh, that was too much. Bill Lyons, I can't remember. He's not a dis name I remember, so I can't remember if he's done it before. Okay, so they're watching. Well, that's one way of solving your energy crisis. Huh. It's no joke, Avon. Thousands of people were killed. Jeez. But now the Federation is aware of the potential of Felden power systems. Lovely. Like, I get he's being practical about it, but I have some sympathy for the people that died. Is the lecture over? Substance in the universe. Uh huh. Currently, the most valuable. Okay. I'm just getting interested. Of course, money is involved. He gets interested. But given the right conditions, Felden is infinitely more efficient. Oh. The Federation is investing 200 billion credits on the project. Damn. Limited energy. I would say that that was cheap at the price. Yeah, just a bit. Yeah. Where what? Where do we steal the Felden crystals from? <laughs> he knew that. Talking about money would get Villa involved. The Federation's mistake was to underestimate the system potential. So uh -huh. much energy built up that it became unstable. 
Oh now, shit. That'd be the look like. why there was an explosion, I guess. Cheap to produce, small enough to transport in a cargo ship, and capable of developing Prop enough power to make a minus two fifty degree planet workable. It could be transported on a ship. The consignment we are after is worth approximately nine hundred million. Jesus. We've seen what it can do. We can't risk it getting back to the Federation. Yes, agreed. Yeah. You steal for your reasons, I'll steal for mine. Why not get it first and quarrel about it later? That's true. Then it would be in anybody else's hand. It's a good idea. Maybe keep some, sell some. Helps. It works. Secondly, it is no. protected by a security system that is supposed to be impassable. They're yeah, but you got... supposed to be impassable. Yeah, you got Villa and you got Avon. Come on. You can do it. Federation security okay. reveal target. Going in at once. Wait, what? What? Get the ship ready for launch. What fool? What happened? Just got too damned expensive. I have no idea. Servalan, I'm guessing, somehow. Player what? Player? Player? Wait, what? It's a game? Well, it makes sense with the title games, but what's that got to do with the security? Wait, it looks like him. What? I'm so confused. What the, what the fork? How'd that get into the screen? He did it. Well done. He just got to protect, like, whoever it is. Shit, May. What the hell? Are you going to tell us what's going on now? Yeah. I think we would have to move on this so soon. And that made it unnecessary to tell us? And in the meantime, you were doing deals with outsiders? Yeah, pretty much. His name is Garen. Academician Garen. Academician? Seriously wounded. I need help. Oh, the... Uh, the, uh, the okay. Garen calling Scorpio. Haven, if you're coming to the rendezvous point, hurry! That'd be the guy that managed to get out. Shit. Good, good. They got him. They can look at help him. He looks bad. So, yeah. What should this middle-aged Federation professor want to help you with? Yeah. Him being a brilliant geologist and an expert in mining techniques, he is also greedy, avaricious, and a crook. Uh huh. If you run the relevant sets of figures together, you will see that he delayed his information just long enough to manipulate the commodities market. That's not really crooked. You tell that to his Federation master. Yeah. Federation won't like that. I merely reminded him that since I got the information from the Federation computers... Others can. Yeah. Yeah. It's not just him that could do it. He would find himself in a penal colony. So you blackmailed him. Yeah. Exactly what I was about to say. Garen, that was a damn fool thing to do. You could have ruined everything. Didn't have much choice. The Federation smelled a rat. I... You got the other two men killed, though. You should leave that sort of thing to us. I told you. There was no time. Besides... From what I've heard, she might be more than a match for you. Servalan! Servalan is so Servalan. Who are they sending? Who do you fucking think? Slear. So gonna be Servalan. It so is. It really is. Hang on a minute. If this stuff is that hard, or, or whatever, how are they able to do it like that? It shouldn't be possible, right? Knew it. I'm sorry, but I would not be able to concentrate on that desk. Desk? Dress. Because those feathers would tickle the shit out of me. <laughs> she must have been, like, struggling to keep her composure, because that, oh, God, that just makes my skin tickle anyway, just looking at it. Oh, uh, we're honoured by your visit, Commissioner Slayer. Commissioner Slayer, not Commander. That makes it sound like a holiday. <laughs> And I doubt whether you'll feel honoured by the time I'm finished with you. Oh, lovely, isn't she? Magnitude is a very strange planet. You'll find it difficult to investigate without my help. I could have you executed on the spot, you know. Yes, that is true. But that would guarantee you didn't get the Felden Crystals. And that wouldn't enhance your reputation with the Federation, would it? I like him. Who oh, would expect this is a strange place? We, we're working under difficulties. He's been taking some for himself, isn't he? We've still got one advantage. She doesn't know about the crystals Belkov has hidden in the orbiter. We do. That's his ones. Okay, the orbiter ones are what his ones. That's why she can't get a hold of them. Will be more about the 
the stuff they're digging up now, won't you? Nope. Unfortunately, they're not digging up anything much. There's virtually no Felden left. Oh. So he'll do a deal. With Servalan. He'll certainly try. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I was going to say, she'll do the deal and then kill him afterwards. There appears to be someone on Necron 2 attempting to make contact with this bastard. There shouldn't be anyone there who knows we're coming. Who does? Servalan. I'm unable to identify the master. I regret this failure most bitterly. I still don't like Slave's voice. I know it's the same voice actor, but I just don't like the tone. Garen? Yes. Oh, so you survived. Oh, well done. He's being controlled by Servalan. Yes, perhaps you're right. Wouldn't do either of us any good if that Federation squadron picked us up. I have jammed them on these frequencies, of course. Oh, considerate. What exactly do you want? Servalan sort of stood off camera, isn't she? Half the Felden crystal is in my ship orbiter. What guarantee do we have Something. to give them to us? Well, I imagine you'll kill me if I don't. Well, we might Very true. Anyway and take them all. <laughs> yes. Well, as you probably know, Orbiter is powered through Felden crystals. By using them and reflectors on the moon, I could set up a series of force fields. You'd find getting away from this planet a lot harder than getting to it. Multiple traction beam. Nice. Okay. Oh, uh, I have a visitor approaching there. Don't be too long. Well. Okay, so maybe Serverland doesn't know. Or, I don't know. Maybe she told... I don't... I wouldn't trust him either. Four of my men have been murdered. Yes, well, shit. I tried to warn you, but you didn't give me much of a... Why were they murdered? Well, the locals do have some rather nasty habits. Ritual murder is only one of them. Is that why he's always in here? I didn't need backup. I managed things for myself. He did? He did? I came to an agreement with the Macronian. Did this agreement include the killing of my men? Oh, well, of course not. Of course not. <laughs> I love her. Do you realize the problems I had setting up this entire mining operation? There's as a very ancient civilization, you know. I didn't come here for a history lesson. It is relevant. The Macronian High Priests use these as a symbol of their power. Uh huh. Now, there is a legend about the Felder necklaces. Okay. Would absorb enough energy to uh, blow holes in any number of recalcitrant uh, chiefs. How fascinating. Yes, Let's finish. I've been cashing in on this piece of luck for generations, so I decided to join them. Well, not unnaturally, they weren't particularly impressed. Well, uh -huh. impressed anyway. I can imagine. So I borrowed a necklace. Hold it. Borrowed a necklace. After six of them had died in the attempt, they found my survival quite miraculous. Your survival. That's has quite clever. That is quite clever. Not fair on the other pe on the people that live there, but it's horrible. You've delivered half the expected yield from this mine. Where's the rest? It's gone. Either it never existed, which is fraud, or you've stolen it. It's a cat. He's going to be in a lot of trouble. Without him, they won't get the stuff, will they? Okay, see so Sulin and Avon's up, staying up there. Ah, Avon's staying up on the ship. Oh, we're by the sea. Yay! That's nice. Okay. I guess we got to bring him along because he probably knows a bit more about the place than us. Us. I'm not like I'm a part of the team. And now it just looks like he's sleeping. Or not. Why did Avon stay up? Has he got to be able to like keep an eye on everything? Usually that's like Villa. Oh! Have you been improving the guns again? Funny man. Who did that? Oh, he was already killed. He was already killed. Okay. Okay. No telling. Until the drug wears off. Well, pants. Get ready to leave orbit. Leave? Why? I don't mind playing games, but I do object when the opposition makes up the rules and decides to be the referee as well. Belkov trusts him yeah. as a strength because that means that no one can betray him. But okay. it's also a weakness because it means that he is the only one who can defend what is his. He makes everything self-protecting. Okay. He traps the force field. Exactly. Everything automatic and therefore predictable. Okay. We leave our present orbit as far as he is concerned. We're pulling out. We're cutting our losses and we're running for it. Yeah, I guess. Once we have that moon. Between us and the scanner, we can start uh -huh. back down again. Since his automatics won't be able to track us, they will merely inform him of what he thinks he already knows. We have gone. What happens to Tarrant and the others? Ah! Can they still communicate? During the maneuver, they are entirely on their own. But once... Shouldn't you let them know? Orbit, the teleport system 
should function quite normal. Oh, you just know they're going to need them when they can't contact them, right? It's, oh, it's so obvious. But this feels like peak Avon to me. This really does feel like peak Avon. They find how to write the characters again. I like that. Everything except the felt and crystals are reduced to the fine dust. Damn. Okay. Avon. Avon. And um, straight away, can't commit. Don't stand up, you idiot. Andrew, I still can't raise it. Dilly. Put down your weapons. Slowly. Why would he stand up, you freaking idiot, Villa? Oh my god. That was so stupid. What was he thinking? I'm sorry. They, there was three of them with guns. But then again, somebody would have been shot. But they're just going to leave their guns right there. Four of our men have been killed with a knife like that. You don't think... I mean, I'm not the violent type. Really, I'm not. Does he look like the violent type? It was stuck in one of your men. Well, I'm down! I didn't see her move around. Then, I'm sorry, but Villa is an idiot. He calls this issues. Nasty way to go. Oh, dust. Very bad for the chest. Oh. oh. And they're nicking his necklace. Shit. I really must object. I mean, it's taken me years to get these things together. They're destroying all his thing. Where would you put them then? <laughs> I like him. I wouldn't do that if I were you. I did warn him. I like this guy. He's funny. I really think cooperation would be the best idea for both of us. That's what I've been offering you all along. Well, I didn't find your terms very attractive. Yeah, I wouldn't either. He wants all of it. Then I just want to get away from here safely. To have enough capital to continue my researches in peace somewhere else. You mean you expect the Federation to pay you for something you've already stolen from them? It belongs to the people of this planet, not the Federation. I understand the Federation would like them put out of circulation. I don't believe you could deliver. They're already here on the planet. You'd have them within 24 hours. Perhaps we can do business after all. Good. Then without appearing to be greedy, I'd like to discuss the question of my uh, payment first. The Federation's been paying you for 12 years. <laughs> Uh, I wouldn't. I want Orac, my ship, and enough Felden crystals to negotiate my way around the galaxy. Oh, I, li I do like I know he's betraying them, but I like him. He's awesome. I do like him. I can't help it. The actor's really good. He's playing the role really well. And that guy's starting to struggle. Where's Dana? I'm sorry, but Tarrant, they can so see your head above that. Oh, there she is. Okay. Oh, she's got the knife. Damn, Dana. Oh, well, I got blamed for one of their killings. <laughs> How did that guard that's right there not hear her? Hang on, where did she jump down? Come on, fast as you can. There won't be long. I realise that. Where did she drop down? Because, oh, that made no sense. I want you to get into cover and wait. Out here, alone, Belkov may double-cross us. I should think that's highly likely. Exactly! They're after blood. My blood. Tell them you've already given me. <laughs> I don't like it any more than you do, but without Scorpio, you're it. Now go. Come on, Villa, be the hero. Pick up all their weapons, that knife as well. 